Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Decathlon Sports OutShock 900 boxing gloves. So check it out. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Decathlon Sports OutShock 900 boxing gloves. I got mine in 16 ounces in the all black colorway. It also comes in this Velcro closure. You can get this anywhere between 10 to 16 ounces and they also have this in a white colorway. Now, if you're not familiar with Decathlon Sports, they're actually a French company that was founded in 1976 and they're, they're relatively well known overseas, especially in Europe and Asia. Uh, not so much here in the United States or North America, uh, but I do know that Decathlon is starting to really make a push into the North American market. Um, if I were to compare them to another company, I would say they're they're kind of like a European, um, you know, or, or an overseas version of like Dick Sporting Goods that we have here in the United States. So Decathlon themselves specializes in all types of different sporting goods, not just boxing equipment. Outchalk is their combat sports division. So uh, if you do go to the Decathlon website and you type in the word Outchalk, it'll pull up all types of combat equipment or combat sports equipment, excuse me. So not just boxing gloves, they have martial art geese, they have MMA gloves, headgear, pretty much everything under the sun in terms of uh, combat sports. So you can definitely go to the website and check it out. But I've uh, known about Decathlon for a very long time. It wasn't just until recently that I was able to get my hands on a pair of their OutShock 900 gloves. Their designs have always intrigued me just because um, they really have their own look to them and being a, a company that doesn't have any uh, really a, a big, I guess, influence here in the United States or a big following, it, it made me even more uh, wanted to get these gloves even more so to see what they were all about and kind of compare them to the other brands that we've always known you know rival title boxing ringside so it's always good to have another perspective with a, a, a pair of boxing gloves that are relatively unknown here in the united states so i got these outshock uh, 900 gloves they're a boxing slash sparring glove um, these are manufactured in china they use a synthetic polyurethane casing uh, triple density foam um, and it has a very interesting uh, uh, kind of a wrist lock system, ratcheting system that I like. And another feature that I thought was kind of interesting with these gloves is that uh, when you get these brand new, they actually, and I left this on for the video, that way I can show you, I'm gonna actually cut them off here in a second. Uh, it comes on the left glove, it comes with this little elastic loop. And then and when you look at it, it actually has a, a little tag here that shows scissors to basically imply that you need to cut this off. Um, and um, my, my thinking is that that's kind of like a security feature. Um, not that you can't use these gloves with leaving it on. I mean, some people may just elect to leave it there and you can use it to like hang the glove up. I don't know, but my thinking is that once you cut that, that basically tells them that the gloves were used and that you can't return them. And, and then even on the right glove, um, that actually has like a little cardboard tag that hangs from the bottom cuff that uses the same kind of elastic band that is stitched into it. So you, you actually have to trim it off uh, in order to remove the tag. So again, I just think it's kind of like a security feature. Um, in my opinion, it seems a little bit wasteful to use all this elastic just, just for this, this, the sake of ending up having to cut it off. But I mean, it is what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and just trim it. Um, the reason I didn't trim it earlier before I used them is because I wanted to show you guys um, just what it's all about. And that was the first time I've ever seen a company do that with a pair of boxing gloves where they like put a piece of elastic on there and actually show you like a picture of, um, of scissors. So there you go. I cut that off and you still have that little, that little picture of the scissors right there. I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. There it is. So. Uh, the drawback to that is it kind of leaves like these ugly, you know, ends of the elastic that used to be there. I mean, you can try to get as close as you can to the edge of the glove, but you just want to be careful not to actually cut into the glove. So again, I thought that was a little unique and kind of weird and wasteful at the same time. Um, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is I'm just going to get a lighter and I'm going to get a lighter and burn the ends off to kind of like burn it over and that way it doesn't fray. Uh, so I figured I'd show that to you guys. Um, Design-wise, the glove, again, has more of an interesting look. The, the profile of it 
It's kind of um, it's kind of slimmer. Um, I'd say it's a medium to compact glove. It's not overly huge. It has kind of a bulb bulb like a rounded look to the hand compartment. And one thing about the foam they use in here, it's multi-layer foam, they use three, three density foam, but it almost has kind of like a memory foam type feel to it. It has kind of a spongy, like when you push into the foam, it has a medium density to it, but it almost ha feels like your fingers kind of like push in and kind of stay in there and then it releases. So I do like the way that the foam feels on this. And I'm, I'm very happy, especially at the price point, that they didn't elect to go with like a molded foam, which is very generic and just feels cheap. Um, the synthetic on here, I would compare it to like what Sanibel uses in like their Battle Forge gloves. It's definitely a higher grade synthetic than like the entry level Everlast stuff. So it's a little bit on the thicker side, feels a little bit more durable. Although the palm side synthetic, I wish it was a little bit thicker and a little bit better quality. I haven't had any issues yet because I haven't been using them long enough, but this definitely is a, a, an area of concern is the stitching right here and this part being pretty thin in the palm area. Um, so over time, I'm assuming if I use this for like maybe six months to even a year, uh, the stitching will probably start to fray. So that's the area of concern. And this glove has a ton of potential uh, in terms of performance and comfort. And there's a lot to be desired still, but if they can perfect this glove, man, this, this is going to be a really, really solid glove. So there's a synthetic, it does say decathlon out shock vertically. Uh, you also have kind of like this little dash signs that go over the hand compartment on the top of the glove that says outshock shows 16 ounces for the weight uh, you come to the palm side ventilated holes on the finger compartment as well as this, uh, kind of perforated palm section you also have the holes on the thumb uh, the grip bar is tiny you can see here it's a kind of relatively lacking in a grip bar it's really small and you can really kind of push into it um, you do have a little bit of padding on this outside edge of your palm and it says DX3 density which is going to be the indicator of the foam that they use, use here. Now my favorite feature aside from the type of foam they use which is really nice is going to be uh, their velcro system and before we go into it I'll show you the back side it actually says uh, FGHT uh, fight your limits fight your fight your limits fight your limits it just says fight your limits over and over so um, I'm assuming FGHT means fight. Why they didn't add an I in there, I don't know. But I guess just that's the design they wanted to go with. Anyhow, uh, the back of the glove has a little over an inch of uh, firm density padding. And you'll notice that the material that you have here on the, the wrist support, this cuff, almost has like a little bit of a lip. And it reminds me of kind of like a uh, a mesh type material like a, a mesh sleeve if you guys have a pair of, of basketball shoes some of the newer basketball shoes have kind of like this compression material that goes around your ankle on the inside portion it's like a built-in sock liner that's kind of the same material and then you have uh, this plastic right here that uses this really cool uh, ratcheting system uh, with this little nylon right there so they do say that this can be a sparring glove according to the website but I really don't think this should be a sparring glove just based on the plastic you have here and this whole section right here you can definitely do some damage so in my opinion unless you got some tape and really tape the hell out of the wrist section uh, that's not going to be a very uh, good sparring glove in my opinion now when you open it up <clears throat> you have the velcro tab right here and then you have uh, the actual uh, ribbons the nylon ribbons with the velcro tab that is rubberized so i do love that i like that nice thick rubberized piece uh, with the tabs uh, that is connected to the little ribbons and those basically slide through inside here so there's a little like a little pocket and when you pull on it it brings it over and I think that's really cool innovative you know there's a lot of systems out there nowadays that utilize a you know a ratcheting style system like this you know Rival does it Onyx uh, there's a there's a bunch of companies that have kind of their own version obviously Everlast has a power lock twos um, and then you also have the liner on the inside uh, which is a um, kind of a microfiber liner as well as kind of a little piece of satin on the inside right there. There's no tag to indicate um, the sizing on it uh, outside of just the, the number printed on the thumb right here. Quality wise, the gloves are pretty good. Um, again, I, I like the, the synthetic on here more than some of the other entry level gloves. You know, the stitching looks okay. I would say that the palm side could have been done 
a little bit better. I feel like it's a little taut right here. And again, this is really thin, so I'm really concerned about that. You have that attached thumb that's fully attached right there. Um, I do like the foam quality and the weight is definitely almost on point. So for a mid-tier budget budget level glove for them to be, I think the gloves were 15.8 and 15.6 ounces. Um, it's almost exactly on point with the weight, uh, which even some of the more expensive gloves failed to do. So it's good to see that at least the weight was on point. And that's to me, not by coincidence, they, they actually, I'm sure have uh, weighed at the gloves out or at least made sure the consistency with the foam the cut of the material is all the same that way when they, when they put everything together and they finish the product they at least know that the weight's going to be pretty close to where uh, they say it's going to be especially the fact that you have synthetic the foam and then you also have this system with the velcro strap that's going to add weight to the glove as well um, i'm not too sure about this whole fght that's not really a quality thing that's more of a design cue but again i'm i'm not sure why they didn't just put an eye there or maybe they ran out of space they could have made this a font smaller uh, but the material looks good overall pretty solid design pretty well balanced you can see that the distribution of weight is nice it's not a top heavy glove and it doesn't have a lot of flex in terms of between the bottom cuff the center section and the top of the glove so it's not a floppy glove uh, which i hate now comfort sliding your hand into the glove everybody always gets that first impression i always feel there's kind of different stages when it comes to comfort. The first stage is usually right when you put your hand in the glove and you get that first impression. And it's usually like, oh damn, these feel amazing or damn, these feel terrible. Uh, what did I do with my money? So you usually get that first impression. You usually kind of move your fingers around your hand. Maybe you have hand wraps on, maybe you don't. Um, and then usually down, down the road is when you start using them and that's when you get the real impression of the gloves. Like, okay, you know, I can deal with these. These feel great. They were feel kind of uncomfortable at first, but now they feel a lot better. Now, the first thing I noticed is the thumb is too short with these gloves, way too short. And visually, you can tell that they're a very short thumb. Um, I feel like they kind of shot themselves in the foot with that, because when you make a fist, you, this uh, attached thumb actually kind of pulls down on the tip a little bit. And being short that it is already, that just, it makes it even worse. So when I'm landing shots with, uh, when I'm landing shots on the bag, you know, there's a little bit of shift of your hand, regardless of what gloves you're using, you're gonna feel a little bit of a shift because of all that momentum that you're throwing forward into the bag. And because of that, my, my thumb is constantly hitting the tip right there. So uh, to me, that's that's just, you know, poor design in my opinion. I mean, they could have just made that a little bit larger and it would have just been so much better. The positioning is good as far as it being where the, the, the thumb needs to be. So it runs nice and parallel, it's just not long enough. And I just don't understand why uh, they didn't make that longer. Um, I do love this wrist support. So you can see again, that ratcheting system works really nicely. I mean, you can get a real nice tight uh, uh, lock feel. And the bad thing is that they don't give you enough Velcro. So when you come and you pull on it and you come around the other side, if you want it real nice, tight, snug fit, you have the Velcro that hits there, but now you're missing all of this Velcro. So when you put it down again, and this kind of goes to it being a poor sparring glove, but you have all of this extra. So to me, they should have brought the Velcro over even further so that you can bring this, this flap down and it stays attached. And because if it doesn't, you don't, you don't have that extra. So this thing just kind of stays sticking up. So again, the design that can be improved with that, you know, if you use just what's available to you, you still get a decent feel, but I feel like if you really want to ratchet nice and tightly, it doesn't have that. Um, the finger compartment depth is perfect. Uh, you have that piece of neoprene you do feel a little bit of stitching but the very end of the finger you can feel the neoprene in there um, the actual hand compartment that nice uh, satin liner feels really comfortable um, it doesn't bunch up you don't have any extra material and I, I like the comfort of the foam against my hand so everything about the glove feels really good minus the thumb and i feel like they could have done a better job with that but the wrist support feels fantastic in terms of being able to really lock your wrist in and get that really nice tight feel. Another thing I probably would have done is I would have probably brought this wrist support up higher in this section right here. So everything is kind of below the hinge point on the wrist. And I feel like they could have brought it up a little bit higher. Um, so it's not just all like down here, maybe bring it up. And yeah, that would be very similar to what Rival does, but hey, it works. And you can still have that nice ratcheting system when you pull it through but except, except it's a little bit higher up that way if somebody has 
uh, an issue with their wrist or they have a pre-existing injury, you get a really light, nice lock-in feel. So maybe if they revise the, this version of the glove, the 900, or maybe they make the Outshock 1000 and improve the wrist, improve the thumb, just make the little details much better, I think that would be uh, really good in that regard. Uh, the gloves are very protection, uh, protection oriented. Um, if you're looking for something with feedback, you want something that a little bit of pop, um, I would probably go a different direction. These are de definitely very protective. Um, when you hit the bag with them, you get a decent amount of pop out of the gloves, but they do a really good job of absorbing shock. So if you're looking for a very shock absorbing bag glove and you have short thumbs, this would be a good choice for you. I definitely feel that it does a really nice job of protecting my wrist and giving me the support I'm looking for. Even with power shots, it feels good over the knuckle and does a really nice job of really absorbing all of that punishment that you're giving your heavy bag or whatever your bag or person's face that you're hitting. So. Uh, protection is definitely there. Uh, feedback, eh, not so much. Okay, in that regard. Cost-wise, these gloves are $69, which is a fair price. I mean, all things considered, um, they didn't cheap out on the foam. They use triple density foam or multi-layer foam padding. I like the foam on here a lot. I feel the consistency of these are really good. Um, I definitely like the strapping system for the wrist support. Um, again, this, this glove, I feel, has so much potential like if they can just perfect the little small nuances making it a little bit longer uh, thumb and keep it at the same price point at 69 dollars better thumb uh you know extend the wrist support a little bit higher give yourself a little bit more velcro you know um maybe redesign it just a little bit and uh, i think you definitely would have a winner at 69 dollars even with synthetic i mean you have like the venom impacts and the elise are synthetic and i, I think those are some really good gloves as well. Um, these can definitely be right up there in terms of a, a mid-tier glove that offers great performance um, and good for wrist support. So more or less for the people that aren't looking to spend more than like 80 bucks and need a glove that can give them really good wrist support, uh, especially for bag work, maybe you have an injury, I think this would be a really good glove uh, for those people. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Decathlon Sports Outshock 900 boxing gloves. I'll see you guys later. Take care.